Why is protein heaven sent for some people and a cause of a major setback for others? Also, how can hair be protein sensitive if hair is made of protein? Protein sensitivity is a real thing, but it may not be as common as you think. A negative reaction to protein can be a sign of something else going on. Protein sensitive hair is hair that is too sensitive to the strengthening effects of protein treatments. The structure and curl pattern of our hair is created by chemical bonds called disulfide bonds. Protein treatments help temporarily strengthen and tighten these bonds. The higher in porosity your hair is, the weaker and or fewer disulfide bonds you have. The lower in porosity your hair is, the more and or tighter your disulfide bonds are. Below is a link to a video on curl patterns that will help you understand disulfide bonds better. So it's easy to see why high porosity hair types benefit so much from protein treatments. But what about low porosity hair types? Whether high or low porosity, us naturals have the most disulfide bonds compared to straighter hair types to start out with but that doesn't mean that they don't get damaged or that they don't have weak spots. Every time you manipulate your hair, you're inflicting some kind of damage to it. Also, every bend and twist in our hair is a weak spot and our ends are a lot higher in porosity than the rest of our hair. So low porosity hair types do benefit from protein treatments. The only hair type that will not benefit from protein treatments is virgin never manipulated hair, and that basically doesn't exist. When it comes to protein sensitivity, think of the porosity line. The closer you are to the high porosity side, the less protein sensitive you are, meaning your hair responds well to different types and sizes of proteins, and you can do protein treatments more often. The closer you are to the low porosity side, the more sensitive your hair is to proteins that are too large or too strong. You have to be more selective with the type of protein you use and how often you use them. The extreme ends of the porosity line are rare. Most people fit somewhere in the middle. So a true protein sensitivity is usually not the real issue. Below are links to videos that will help you determine what your hair porosity is. So if you feel like you're protein sensitive, in the next video I'm going to show you how to test it. Guess what? There's a Green Beauty Black Friday sale going on right now. Take an extra 15% off your entire order. It ends Sunday, December 1st. And yes, it applies to international orders too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.